हेलो स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर नंबर सेकंड लॉस प्रिंग स्टोरीज ऑफ स्टोलन चाइल्डहुड ऑथर अनिश जन 1964 सिक्सटी फोर वॉज बॉर्न इन रूर केला एंड स्पेंड हर चाइल्डहुड एंड एडोलेसेंस इन हैदराबाद सी रिसीव हर एजुकेशन in hyderabad and in the united states of america her parents were both writers anish jain began her career as a writer in india she has been an editor and columnist for major newspapers in india and abroad and his uh, and has authored several books the following is an excerpt from her book titled lost spring stories of stolen childhood here she analyzes the grinding poverty and tradition which condemn these children to a life of exploitation so here first we will focus on the last three lines here she analyzes grinding poverty and tradition which condemn these children to a life of exploitation and title also lost spring it is given the title is also remarkable is suitable title the spring season specially the happiness new thing the regenerate all that things but the children those who are not getting quality education they are not getting proper uh, hygienic um, nutritious environment means whenever we are thinking about the food they are not getting nutritious food uh, healthy environment they are not getting they their hygiene means social and personal hygiene is also not maintained then how can they will develop in their life and specially uh, some traditions means suppose one will decide Uh, that this business he will do then all will follow him and generation by generation generation by generation uh, they would be in the same business sometime they may not have the proper skills to develop and specially the uh, word is here mentioned that is grinding poverty and those who are below uh, poverty level or those who are doing some business but they are not successful in that and sometime due to lack of education lack of understanding of the business then others they may cheat them and what will happen they will not realize also that how they are being harassed how they are being cheated by the so many uh, people those who are actually uh, the good they are rich but sometime they may provide them some money and in return suppose they are not able to give then they would take the interest or here the word it is mentioned as a money lenders or saukars so they will again uh, take such type of decision then they have to again suffer a lot in such type of process some here uh, rack pickers uh, example is given suppose one family would start that then again another fan those who are especially the migrants they would join suppose here in uh, mumbai also there are so many people those who are living in dharavi or different different slum areas mm, you can observe their personal hygiene social hygiene language and then nobody those who are in middle class or uh, upper class those who are living those are maintaining the standard they may not give them that space they may not give them that love or understanding that bond it may not create so if we are thinking about that then personally uh, you have to manage everything uh, then bad habits uh, may occur we can understand those who are living in such type of area especially most of uh, the children they are also drug addicted 
or others uh, means those who are gangsters or they may uh, again take such type of children and misuse uh, their power, their youth against the nation also sometime. So here or the society they may create a problem in the society because of the lack of education, uh, proper counselling and the proper way, proper channel uh, through that they are not getting that equal opportunity as the others they are getting. So here next line it is the grinding poverty and traditions which condemn these children to a life of exploitation. And their life is being exploited because of sometime it may be because of the tradition that my grandfather was doing that then my father is also doing the same and then grandson or granddad to should also be uh, in the same profession sometime as per the interest area suppose you are not interested in that business but that then also because of the poverty uh, you have to do the same thing and you may not be able to start new business suppose you wish to start new business what will happen the bank may not trust you guarantors you may not get the guarantors or the bureaucrats may not help you and other people in the society they will also not support you and suppose you would join together means when uh, you are working in such type of unorganized sectors and suppose something uh, you, are, you are being exploited and when you will understand that then suppose you wish to rebel against the society then others politicians, bureaucrats, saukars they will come together and they, then they will make a such a trap you will not be come out from that policemen may come they may beat you they may take you from your room and you may be in jail for some days then again afterwards you may not be able to uh, again start the new thing new ideas so such type of uh, problems it will be again faced or your life would be exploited in such type of conditions so we will start the next uh, thing in that first story the title of the first story is sometimes i find a rupee in the garbage here in the beginning now in the title itself it is concerned with the garbage so on garbage dumps there are so many rack pickers you can observe near especially uh, if you will observe the railway stations bus stand I means the community center areas there are so many rack pickers are there they may go and they may pick up the things from that uh, garbage dumps or sometime in drainage also or some bottles but they are not maintaining that hygiene so nowadays you can understand in this covid-19 page how much we are taking care of ourselves but uh, such type of rat pickers they are not educated uh, they may not get that opportunity um, to learn something better and nobody is there to teach them because uh, they are the deprived section of the society nobody can care them nobody will have sympathy for them like that and they may be treated in a different way and there uh, especially the small children's life would be exploited in such type of atmosphere their hair all things are uh, means their appearance is very shabby and that it is not at all good so here um, author had given such type of instances examples from the society through this uh, through two stories uh, first we will discuss the story number first and in that here why do you do this i ask sahib whom i encounter every morning scrounging for gold in the garbage dumps of my neighborhood so here uh, we can think about the character so character is here mentioned sahib's character is mentioned means author introduced the character in the beginning in the first line and here i the narrator is now uh, talking 
in such a way that I uh, hear the first person narration it is that why uh, do you do this I ask Sahib whom I encounter every morning scrounging for gold in garbage dumps of my neighborhood so here actually uh, are they searching for the gold in that garbage dumps no so here here this is the kind of uh, irony we can say that uh, they would go and they would search here the word uh, scrounging means seek to obtain something from that and what is that so, suppose they will get something bottles or something in that garbage dumps then they will pick up that and then they will sell and some kind of uh, means earning here from that they will get and that is the source of survival and that source of survival it is important for them so here sahib left his home long ago set amidst the green fields of dhaka his home is not even a distant memory so here uh, narrator is talking about the earlier means here sahib family sahib family is migrant from that area and here the place is mentioned that is Dhaka. Uh, Sahib left his home long ago, set amidst the green fields of Dhaka. Uh, his home is not even distant memory and now he is not able to uh, understand also or there is no any kind of memories about that uh, home or the uh, house. There were many storms that swept away their uh, fields and homes. His mother tells him. That's why uh, they left looking for gold in big cities where he now lives. So here because of the storms, natural calamities, uh, their fields and homes means they were, they are the victim of the natural calamities and because of that uh, they have migrated in India and uh, now their condition it is, uh, they are searching for the gold means they are working in such an area, they are searching for the uh, something they would get in that garbage dumps and here ironically it is said that it is gold, uh, looking for gold in big cities where he now lives, especially in big cities uh, at least they will get something for the survival. So most of the time uh, in the periphery of that area nearby or some area, fixed area, uh, they would leave and that area is very overcrowded area. The density of that area is very more because in very less space, so many uh, families would live in that area. So here, uh, Sai's family is also uh, one of them. I, I have nothing else to do, he mutters, looking away, go to school. I say clearly. So here superficially uh, reply it is given by the narrator and what the narrator is talking. So narrator is uh, saying suggestion that is the suggestion. Go to school. Suppose you are free and you do not have more works then what you can do? I have nothing else to do. So uh, you can go to the school and you can enjoy the uh, education, the quality education. Because uh, slum area children, they are involved in such type of activities. They are helping their uh, family uh, for the earning. And then uh, whole day afterwards, they would be just uh, not doing anything. Morning time, they would go for searching such type of things. And then uh, after, up till afternoon, everything will finish. And then afterwards, all they are free. So like that here. Realizing immediately how Polo the advice must sound. There is no school in my neighborhood. When they built one, I will go. And again, one more tragedy here it is uh, reflected uh, through Sahib that there is no school. And school is very important uh, thing for all the children. But still, uh, the school is not set up in that area. So like that here. Uh, the present reality also that boy is ready. Then next, if I start a school, will you come? I ask, half joking. And then your narrator is uh, saying that, okay, suppose, means if I, I start a school, will you come? If I would start the school, then will you come? Then uh, this type of 
thing we can understand that here the boy is reply is very important but here narrator was half joking in that way he said uh, yes he says smiling broadly and there was a bright uh, broad smile on his face at okay suppose you are set up and then i would be ready to come there are so many children uh, they are not getting environment proper environment proper uh, school or the environment in that also school we have also already uh, discussed in the elementary school classroom in islam in that uh, we have already discussed the concept of this that how the slum area children uh, they are facing problems the classroom is being the color of uh, is not good the sore color cream walls and uh, nobody is paying attention class inequalities uh, social injustice so many things here also we can observe the same thing because here also uh, narrator is talking about the uh, or observing the conditions and accordingly uh, we can uh, think then next here a few days later i see him running up to me is your school ready and the same boy is eager to know about the school that is your school ready it takes longer to build the school i say embarrassed and here narrator was a same to say that actually there was no plan there is no actual concrete plan it was not the promise given to him he, here narrator said half jokingly uh, he was not at all serious about that but here answer is given it takes uh, longer to build the school i say embarrassed at having made a promise that was not meant but promises like mine abound every corner of his blink world so here abound means exist in a uh, large number or amount in every corner of his uh, blink world so here blink world means there is no hope without hope such type of world uh, there is no uh, concrete thing would happen in his life the reason would be because they are in such a grinding poverty nobody uh, may take initiative uh, to develop them and other also society members they will also not uh, take care of them so all the things which we can understand here that uh, there would be uh, again problem and without hope such type of world uh, they can leave so like this here author is trying to criticize uh, through this example and then next again uh, criticism is still there after uh, months of knowing him i ask him his name and name is saheb e alam he announces and here saheb e alam then afterwards again more information is given i ask him his name saheb e alam he announces he does not know what it means if he knew its meaning lord of the universe he would have a hard time believing it so here lord of universe the meaning of the uh, name it is lord of universe but uh, here we are observing that the person or the boy if he would understand the meaning then he may not believe also that such type of name the lord of universe is not getting the uh, proper food also to eat or he is in such a grinding poverty then uh, next thing here he would have a hard time believing it unaware of what uh, his name represents he roams the streets with his friends an army of barefoot boys who appear like morning birds and disappear at noon and here um, means for the sake of survival so many he was not alone so many children uh, same age group children they would come out from such type of slum area so here uh, the street with his friends an army of barefoot boys and without wearing the chappal shoes or something they would uh, come from that area and they would go for the mission and what is their mission to search something in that garbage dump so pick up the garbage from different different areas and to find out whatever Uh, the things they would get from that and then they, that would be their uh, means of survival so here 
who appears uh, like the morning birds and uh, they would come out in the morning so how the morning birds they are coming and then they will have uh, means they will go then they will take whatever means the water or they would search for the food and then again they would go and enjoy their life and disappear at the noon and we are not getting um, the same uh, such type of birds in the noon because morning chirping of the birds you can understand but in the afternoon you cannot understand more you cannot observe such type of birds so like that here they would start the work at early uh, morning and then till uh, noon they will sum up all that things and then they would go in the house so over the months i have come to recognize each of them why aren't you Uh, wearing chappals i asked one my mother did not bring them down uh, from the self he answered simply so now any answer uh, they may give so like that uh, one uh, boy is replied here that my mother did not bring them down so <laughs> i am not wearing them even if she did he will throw them off adds another boy even if suppose mother will give them also because now that is the habit that everyone is not wearing then i will also not wear and that pair of army of the boys will go for the searching from searching something from that garbage then here when i comment on it uh, he shuffles his feet and saying and says nothing i want um, shoes says a third boy who has never owned a pair all his life traveling across the country i have seen children walking barefoot in cities on village roads it is not lack of money but a tradition to stay barefoot and here uh, it is not the thing that they are not getting that they would get it but here it is not lack of money but a tradition to stay barefoot mm. is one explanation one explanation also we can get that it is the kind of tradition that and then no one uh, would wear the shoes or chappals and they would work um, with barefoot uh, feet then i wonder if uh, this is only an excuse to explain away a perpetual state of poverty so a perpetual means a never ending or changing such type of poverty that is granting poverty such type of poverty they are living and they may not uh, give justice to their own uh, freedom also they are not getting actually the freedom because uh, they are working like a child labor and then that is also one of the your theme it is there that how to abolish uh, such type of child labor work because their age is to learn something take education but they are enjoying such type of things and parents they are not also concerned about their education so that is the very important thing we can understand through this then next i remember a story a man from udpi once told me as a young boy he would go to school in past and old Uh, temple where his father was a priest he would stop briefly at the temple and pray for pair of shoes and here uh, the condition is because of the poverty they are uh, praying to the god for the pair of shoes also this also example we can keep in mind that we can understand through this that how uh, they are facing the problems then 30 years later i visited his uh, town and the temple which was now uh, drawn in the air of diso uh, desolation so here desolation means a state of complete emptiness or destruction uh, in the backyard where lived a new priest uh, there were red and white plastic chairs so here uh, author is describing the scene of that a village a young boy dressed in a gray uniform wearing socks and shoes around painting and trim uh, his school bag on a folding bed looking at the boy i remembered a prayer another boy had made to the goddess when he had finally got a pair of 
shoes. So here, how through this example uh, we can understand uh, that author is trying to uh, give us information and also uh, satirizing the condition. Now in freedom also means when now we are in the freedom, but then also uh, grinding power poverty is still there in some areas. Still, so many people uh, they are not getting enough food to eat, and their standard of living it is also uh, not good. So here, I remember the uh, the prayer another boy had made to the goddess when he had finally got a. Uh, prayer of shoes, let me never lose them. The goddess had granted his prayer. And here, suppose they would get that uh, pair of shoes, then again they would go into the uh, temple and then they would thank to the god, yes, I got it. And again, one more thing here, let me never lose them because I may not have that much financial condition to take it again. So, like that, here the goddess had granted his prayer. And God is here, uh, it is also reflected that uh, the thing again in next uh, line, young boys like the son of the priest now wore shoes, but many others like the rag pickers in my neighborhood remain shoeless. So here, uh, now the condition of the um, boy or the son of the priest, uh, it is little bit changed. but. Many others like rag pickers in my neighborhood remain shoeless. But still the condition of the slum area, children uh, they, or the rag pickers, their condition it is not uh, still changed. It is as it is and they are not having the uh, shoes. So they are shoeless. So like that here, it is reflected. Means how the irony or the social injustice uh, it is observed here also, due to lack of money, how is their standard of living? Or the, those who are rich, they are not focusing on that. They are not paying attention to them. They are not supporting. There is no rehabilitation such type of programs or camps. Or they will not give them, uh, or others also, those who are uh, the NGOs, they are also not actually uh, properly focusing on such type of uh, development. They some they may just add that we are doing good. Or politicians also sometimes uh, they may go and they may give some uh, piece of advice. Or we can say they would announce uh, some schemes and we would do this in the five years. But uh, the situation would be as it is. You have already uh, experienced in so many areas that. Uh, after independence, still that area development is as it is. In some areas, still electricity is also not there, and some uh, they are also still facing so many problems. So road, uh, means transportation facility is also not there in some areas. Still, so many children they are walking for the uh, school more than six, seven kilometers or so. They have to come and again go. So, uh, government is trying, but still after independence, we have not reached 100% up to the mark of the uh, such type of problems. We have not solved all the problems. So here, my acquaintance, means uh, familiar person, my acquaintance with uh, the barefoot rag picker, pickers lead me to Simapuri. And here the place is mentioned, this place you have to underline, very important thing because two marks question would be set on this uh, or objective also questions would be set on such type of names. So here rack pickers, uh, barefoot rack pickers lead me to Simapuri, a place on the periphery means the outer limits or the edge of that object or the area of Delhi here especially, periphery of Delhi, it melts away from it metaphorically. So even though that area it is uh, the nearby that Delhi but they are far away from the uh, civilized world, they are far away from the modern uh, facilities or they are far away from uh, the quality education. So for that sake here it is mentioned that it melts away from it metaphorically. 
those who live here are got um, quarters uh, who come from uh, Bangladesh back in 1971. So here uh, they are migrants from Bangladesh and here is also mentioned that is in 1971. Sahib's family is among them and here uh, narrator is providing us information about that Sahib. Sahib's family also one of them from that uh, migrant and all the Simapuri that area with so many families they are the migrants from Bangladesh like that here information is given. Simapuri was then um, a wilderness uh, it is still but it is no longer empty uh, in structure of murds with roofs uh, of tin and uh, turbulent de devoid of savage drainage or running water and leave uh, 10,000 practicals. So here, here all the words it is denoting that uh, the area atmosphere uh, it is not good. Uh, savage drainage, all the things means if you will go in slum area you can understand such type of atmosphere. So uh, it is a very uh, bad uh, atmosphere we can observe through this. Means here drainage or running water and in that area how many uh, people they are living the rag pickers? Uh, here live 10,000 rag pickers. They have lived here uh, for more than 30 years without an identity. So here they are living in such because they are migrant without identity uh, they are living in that area and years here mentioned more than 30 years without an identity without uh, permits but with ration cards that their names on voters list and enable them to buy grain. So their names are there in the voter list. Uh, so they are getting some grains or something through that and here politicians they want the votes. So they will just go in uh, that area for the votes for some time but not they will think to rehabilitate that area. Uh, so here 30 years reference so we can understand that after every 5 years so there is election. So 30 years that there is nothing happened in that area and their lives are as it is. So whichever government may come that rehabilitation program, development program it is not properly set up. So here again one more thing we can observe that uh, they have lived, um, they have lived here for more than 30 years without an identity, without permits but with ration cards that get their names on voters list and enable them uh, to buy grain. Food is more important for survival than an identity. And here their identity, their image, it is less important. Food is more important for survival. If they would not get the food, how they will survive? What will be the uh, thing means that identity will give them? So because here, so here this statement it is important. So underline that statement that food is more important for survival than an identity. If at the end of the day we can feed our families and go to bed without an aching stomach. So aching stomach means uh, they are not getting that uh, enough food. So here uh, such type of wordings are used. Uh, means one time also sometimes they may not get proper meal to be proper food to eat. So here if at the end of the day we can feed our families and go to bed without an uh, aching uh, stomach, we would rather live here uh, than in the fields that gave us no grain. Say a group of women in uh, tattered sari. Tattered sari means here old and torn sari. Their condition it is very bad because they are not getting proper uh, clothes also to wear because of the grinding poverty. Sorry, when I asked them why they uh, left their beautiful land of uh, green fields and rivers, uh, where they uh, find food, uh, they pitch their tents that become transient homes. Children um, grow up in them, becoming uh, partners uh, in survival. And survival in Simapuri means rag picking. 
So here, what is the means of survival for them? That is rag picking. And survival in Simapuri means rag picking. Through the uh, years, it has acquired the uh, proportion of fine art. Garbage to them is gold. So garbage to them is gold means here, uh, whatever the things they wish to purchase, when they will go uh, in that garbage dumps, then they will get something. And through that, uh, that garbage now it is uh, for them like a gold. Means that is, that garbage is now for them as a means of survival. So here it is compared with the gold. It is their daily bread, a roof over their heads. Even if it is a licking roof, but for a children it is even more. So here it is the means of their daily bread butter. So we can understand that they are uh, thinking more about that. But even though it is a licking roof, like that here, it, it may not give them uh, standard life, but still that life it is uh, reflected, we can understand that. In next passage here, uh, I sometimes find a rupee, even a 10 rupee note, Sahib says. So here sometimes uh, they may get rupees in that garbage dumps also, um, find a rupee, even 10 uh, rupees note, Sahib says. Uh, his eyes lighting up when you can find a silver coin in a heap of garbage you don't stop crouching for there is a hope of finding more it seems that for children garbage has a meaning different from what it means to their parents for the children it is wrapped in wonder and for the elders it is means of survival so small children they may not understand uh, the value of their life they are, it is just a wrap in wonder, they, what if, suppose they will get, they, it is a kind of enjoyment for them, but for the elders, they can understand the importance of their life and that is the means of their survival. So like that here, this statement also you have to underline. One winter morning, I see Sahib standing by the fence gate of the neighborhood club, watching two young men dressed in white, playing tennis. I like the game he hums. So here again narrator is uh, setting the same boy and he was observing that some uh, other children they are uh, playing the tennis. So here neighborhood club, you can understand the sports clubs. So here again insightful thinking we can think that I like the game he hums means murmur, uh, content to watch standing behind the fence. And here uh, he was standing behind me, surrounded by protected uh, walls, such type of area or compound we can say. And through that, uh, that boy is eagerly watching or curiously watching uh, to all the sports players. And you can observe the things inside when, and he used to go inside when no one is around, he admits. And here again he is admitting that when they will go, then he would go inside. And the, the rag picker, uh, let me use the swing. Sahib too is wearing tennis shoes uh, that look strange over his discolored shirt and shoes. And he was also wearing the uh, shoes. But appearance, other clothes are not good. So here author is uh, criticizing that. The Sahib too is wearing tennis shoes that look strange. Because of that, uh, he looks strange. His appearance looks strange over his discolored shirt and uh, shorts. Then, someone gave uh, them to me. Means the pair of shoes that some, he says uh, in the manner of an explanation. And he had explained that uh, it is somebody has, somebody else has given to me. Uh, so I am wearing that and the fact that they are uh, discarded shoes um, of some rich boy. So they have thrown discarded shoes but now uh, this boy Mesahem is wearing the same thing. Uh, who perhaps refused to wear them because of a hole in one of them uh, does not bother him and that 
discarded shoes or the defected shoes but here that boy is not thinking about a defected shoe suppose he is getting something then he is happy in that and again one more even shoes with a hole in a dream come true but the game he is watching so intently is out of his reach and the he was uh, watching that uh, game but when he will get that opportunity to play equal opportunity should be given to poor also children or the rich children but here they are poor children those who are in that grinding poverty they are not getting education in our constitution now we can say that uh, education should be free and compulsory at least elementary education but here uh, there are some areas their parents are not aware about that and nobody is taking care of their education like that condition some uh, areas we can observe and it is the fact this morning sahib is um, on his way to the milk booth in his hand a steel canister uh, i now work in a tea stall down the road he says pointing in the distance i am paid 800 rupees and all my meals so here now the same boy the sahib started working as a child labor in that is his stall and here amount it i am paid 800 rupees and all my meal and 800 rupees or lot means and the meal or Uh, time he can go and eat. So like that, all the things here uh, provided. Then, uh, does he like the job? I ask. His face, I see, has lost the carefree look. The steel canister seems heavier than the plastic bag he would carry so lightly over his shoulder. Means when he used to do that rag making work, that time he was free. Burden was not there. So here it is ironically illustrated that his face, I see, has lost the carefree look. The steel canister seems heavier than the plastic bag, and that steel canister uh, means now he is under burden of that store owner, and he was as a child, as a child labor, uh, he has to perform that all the duties. Even though now the condition is little bit different, that at least he is getting some money and uh, food to eat, but then also he is not at all free. The burden of the duties in that very less age uh, that it is observed by the narrator. Then the bag was his. The canister belongs to the man who owns the uh, tea shop. Sahib is no longer his own master, and being a servant, uh, he will not be the master. He would not be the owner of that uh, tea stall because he may not think about that. Uh, he may, he his ambition is not uh, such ambition that he would think about the business of his own, and he would enjoy his life in such type of very uh, less thing because here uh, he has not taken the education. his reputation is not good and because of that uh, he may not get the same environment thinking that he would go ahead and finally here uh, it is reflected that sahib is no longer his own master this last line also it is very important line uh, this line can be asked for the um, long answer question also you have to give a reference earlier reference that Uh, due to grinding poverty their social status their identity uh, their thoughts their abilities potent their opportunities or all the potentials their efficiency everything would be measured and matched in such type of uh, conditions and other people would uh, think about them and then in they may suffer uh, all the things that injustice class inequalities and again one more thing we can observe that others may not help them and any time because now they are working in such type of unorganized sector 
as a servant, as a child labor. So any time that person may say that you don't come to the um, work, then from next day, uh, what that uh, sahib will do because it is not his own business. So like that here uh, we can say that sahib is no longer his own master because it is mastered by that priest or owner. So first story we have discussed. I hope that most of the important things uh, you have understood um, be uh, safe at home, do your study sincerely, uh, best wishes for your studies. Next story uh, we will discuss in next video. Uh, thank you.